and this is my office here in Bath, Maine. Um, I'm learning uh, an old tune from uh, a home disc recording that was made in uh, 1942, and it's uh, of Tommy Doucette, who was my mentor. And uh, we'll turn this off, and I'll, I'll show you some of the other stuff around the office here. Um, that that recording was made on an old home disc recording machine, and uh, I must have about a hundred of these old home discs that were made by fiddlers from about 19. Uh, 39 to about up in the mid 50s and then I've got lots of tapes uh, you know reel to reel tapes tons of books that I, I refer to for you know all my music and my favorite thing to do is to go to old manuscripts so um, I've got some stuff over here I'll move this over so the light doesn't glare too much but if you want to take a look here um, it's Tom Doucette his family gave me all of his music, so included in that were a lot of these um, manuscript books that have all these tunes that he wrote out, tunes that have never been played since. That uh, jig that I was just playing, um, probably one of the few people that play it. It's just not very common. So that's the point of my whole project with the Iguana Music Fund, is to record a CD of some of this, uh, some of this old music and uh, make an accompanying book that would include manuscripts and transcriptions of, of the music uh, for people to learn. Um, some of the stuff comes from these books. Some come from old collections like this. I mean, this is ancient. This is a, an ancient thing that I found in a barn up here in Walterboro, Maine. And some of the tunes in here I've never heard, and other people that are scholars, I've played them. Uh, they, they've never heard them. So I'll, uh, I'll play you a little medley of uh, some of the tunes that I have learned from some of these different sources. It's the kind of thing uh, that I'll be putting on my uh, on my CD. Uh, so the first tune is called um, Lock Fine Fisherman. It's a march that I got from an old reel-to-reel -reel tape of a Cape Breton fiddler uh, made back in probably the late 50s. Uh, the second tune is a jig that I got out of one of those old manuscripts uh, from Peabody Essex Museum in Salem, Massachusetts. Uh, and it's called A Trip to Bugland. I don't know what that's about. And then the last is one that I got from my mentor, Tommy Doucette, uh, and he called it the Aaron Reel. It's an old Scottish tune. So I'll, I'll try and put these together for you just as an example of what I'll be doing for, uh, for my project. And uh, my thanks to uh, Passims and the uh, Iguana Fund for helping fund this. <laughs> 